In this video, we shall discuss a very important concept of solid state physics. And it is asked almost in every interview like IIC, IITs uh, for PhD or integrated PhD physics uh, admission. So the question is, what is the origin of energy bands formation in solids? So I request you to watch this full video and clear the concept. This is very basic concept. OK, so let's start. So suppose there are two isolated atoms, OK? And if they are closed together or they are brought to very close proximity, then what will happen? Then the electrons in the orbit of these two atoms interact with each other. And this, so whenever there are solid atoms, we get only different energy levels. Suppose you are considering hydrogen atom, we will get different energy levels of the hydrogen atom. But suppose you are forming Suppose you are considering Na, sodium atom. So there are different energy levels associated with this sodium atom. Now, suppose I am forming a NaCl crystal. Then sodium atom as well as the chlorine atom will brought close together and they will form a solid. Then the energy levels of the valence electrons of the sodium atom and the valence electrons of the chlorine atom, they will interact with each other and the valence electrons, the energy levels of this valence electron spreads into bands. So we will understand it and you also understand that this if this between the two allowed energy levels, there are some empty energy regions and these are called the forbidden band of energies and how which model can give you the concept of allowed energy level, forbidden energy level? Yes, chronic penny model. In the earlier videos, we have already discussed about chronic penny model. It supports the existence of the bands of energies, that is allowed bands and forbidden bands. Please watch that video where I have discussed it very clearly that how this concept of allowed band and forbidden bands occur in case of chronic penny model because due to the introduction of the periodic potential inside the crystal or is inside the crystalline solid, we'll get certain allowed band energies and certain unallowed or forbidden bands. So whenever you want to solve the Schrodinger wave equation, it will give a clearly clue in understanding the origin of energy bands because the Schrodinger wave equation is you have to consider as the Bloch, uh, Bloch function and it will also become periodic with the periodicity of the crystalline solid. So an isolated atom possesses discrete energies of different electrons. Now suppose two isolated atoms are brought to very close proximity. Then the electrons in the orbit of two atoms interact with each other so that in the combined system, the energies of electrons will not be in the same level, but it will change and the energies will be slightly lower and larger than the original value. So at the place of each energy level, we will get a closely spaced two energy levels will be existing. Now, if n number of atoms are brought together to form a solid, and if this n number of atoms, electrons interact with each other, and they will give n number of closely spaced energy level in the place of discrete energy levels. So it is known as band of allowed energies. So friends, we have an announcement. We have already started the test series program for net physics. The full length test, subjective test, both tests are available with the minimum cost of 699 rupees only. You can pay here. You can register in our test programs. Also, we are guiding the students for interview guidance program for the PhD integrated PhD admission. You, if you have any query related to the interview guidance program, test series program, you can follow us on our telegram channel physics by IITians or you can contact to this mobile number for further discussion. All these fees are kept minimum for your benefits only. So come back to the discussion again. So let us take this energy level versus the interatomic spacing diagram. So this is 3P and this is 3S and this R0 is the equilibrium spacing okay so the formation suppose we are taking the energy bands of three um, sodium atoms what will happen suppose the formation of the energy bands has been explained taking sodium and metal as an example 
so this isolated atoms of sodium they are brought together to form a solid then the energy levels of the valence electrons this is the energy levels of the valence electrons they will spread and they will form bands suppose i am taking this 3s and 3p orbital electrons energies these are like this way so then these bands are seen to overlap strongly so this is the overlap region at the interatomic spacing of the sodium atom so this is the energy level of an individual atom now in the crystalline solid there are 10 to the power 23 number of atoms so only here only 24 atoms are drawn so in the individual atom we get 1s 2s 2p uh, 3s 3p 3d like this discrete energy level or states but whenever this crystalline solids that is of the order of 10 to the power 3 atoms are uh, forming or closing with each other they will interact the overbalanced electron energy levels will interact with each other and they will make this range of energy levels or bands and this is a clear indication of quantum mechanical explanation that can be explained from chronic penny model so in summary in molecules the two atomic orbitals combine together to form a molecular orbit with two distinct energy levels in solid 10 to the power 23 stacked up lines confined in a tiny space would look like a band so there are a huge number of at atoms within a very tiny space and that will form the band thereby forming energy continuum and these are called as energy bands so in between energy bands there are ranges of energy which are entirely impossible and those are known as band gaps now different substances have different band structure which in many ways dictate the characteristics of the substance in terms of the critical uh, electrical conduction suppose they if they are existing uh, an energy band this is called a uh, certain kind of energy band then this is that will be conduction band in which the electron can be propagated as current and in the valence band on the other hand is the energy level of the valence electron which are bound into the atomic structure of the substance and they cannot move freely or they cannot be propagated as a current now when a substance is placed in an e electric field its electrons gain potential energy so suppose i am taking a metal it will be a conductor the conduction and the valence bands here they will overlap with each other so the additional energy which you by the external potential it is enough for the free electrons to cause a current as they are easily uh, carry or ca can propagate through where the uh, metal okay or metallic volume so for suppose you are taking an insulator the band gap will be very higher and uh, we need huge amount of energy to cause an electron to be free and accelerated as current so this is very important question in interview also write down the energy uh, draw the energy band diagram for metal semiconductor insulator so for metal there is a overlapping of conduction and valence band for semiconductor this gap is of the order of one electron volt and for the band gap this more than five electron volts so here at normal temperature if we place uh, if you give certain external electric field it can always produce current for a metallic wire like copper or aluminium but if you take a semiconductor you have to provide some external electric field if you take a insulator you have to give very much energy so that from valence band electron will jump to conduction band and it will uh, produce some external current so this is the overall summary of our discussion that in the solid many atoms are brought together so that the split energy levels form a set of bands of very closely spaced levels with forbidden energy gaps between them as shown this in the figure this is the forbidden energy band and there are two energy bands this one is the valence band another is the conduction band the band corresponding to the outermost gaps between these two allowed bands is called forbidden energy gap or band gap since this electron cannot have any energy at this forbidden gap value or band gap value the valence electrons are occupied in the valence band and they are responsible for electrical thermal and optical properties of the solid so friends you can join our test series program you can in join our interview guidance program all are given with the minimum cost so hurry up we have very limited
limited registration of students, a limited number of registered students or only get this opportunity. So if you have any query about our inter interview guidance program or test series program, you can WhatsApp this number or call this number or you can also directly ask your any doubt, any kind of information regarded to the physics interview questions. You can post it in our interview uh, guidance channel uh, physics by IITNS. That is a Telegram channel. Also our Facebook page physics by IITNS. You can post your queries there. So thank you friends. Don't forget to like this video, share this video. I hope this video will be very much helpful for you and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.